you if you like, don't believe me. If you like, I didn't have a girlfriend in Nigeria because my life. I believe that I tell my friends that the first girl I meet is be my wife. Amen. I didn't have a girlfriend in Nigeria. I gave my life to God when I was 12. And 15, I started preaching. So because of that, I was kept away from a lot of things when it comes to relationships and all those. You know, when you have something like scripture union background, you understand what it is. Hallelujah. You know, I said to God, I need my wife now. You know I need her. And all of a sudden in May, I just called one of my friends in Canada here. Please give me this time. This is a guy that we, we do a lot of rural evangelism in Nigeria those days. So I called him on phone. He's married to Canada. And those days I used to tell them, I'm married Canadian wife. But I'm in Norway. I called him, I said, hey man, you know you jumped my Bro, you took a Canadian wife. I need a Canadian wife. <laughs> <laughs> he said, are you asking for paper? I said, my friend, I am not asking for paper. I have not backslidden. <laughs> if I have backslidden, I will ask for paper. Oh. I came to this country for God, and God has been blessing me. And in our church, I have a role, so I can't just disappoint people. And when I came into that city, my pastor asked me also, do you have a wife in Nigeria? I say no. Do you want to marry her? I say no. I want to marry a Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> and this my friend surprisingly told me, if you are serious, call me by so and so time. I said no, I can't. After he called me, I said, Are you serious? I said, of course I am. I want to marry. I, I have prayed to God for the first time in my life. So and I'm serious about it. He said, okay, that there's someone he will just introduce me to, maybe there's anything. He said, okay. And we got to know and uh, began to chat and talk. <laughs> you know, I tell people I don't see vision all the time. <laughs> but when I see one, don't doubt it. <laughs> that is how it has been. My friend, people come to me and say, but what did God tell you about me? But when I see one, it is so. What I did was I called my parents. I said, I've seen my wife. By then, I have not said anything to her. I called my parents. I've seen my wife. <laughs> said, well, is it a joke? Say, well, it could be a joke to you, but I have seen her. <laughs> I told my friends. I told my pastor. I told my father in the Lord, the man that led me to Christ in Nigeria. He said, the district over there, first year of church. I called him on phone. I said, Daddy, I have seen my wife. He said, have you seen her? I said, no, just on Facebook. <laughs> 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 God, I said, God, if she is the one, 
Because I always say, God, I want that woman to accept me the way I joke. Most people feel I'm not serious. I always joke a lot. <laughs> that that one I will accept to my foolishness. <laughs> that should be my wife. Wow. I know what I have done is it cannot be recorded in any book. <laughs> it cannot be proved by any theory or procedure. <laughs> but if she's the one, she must appear back. So it happened and over time I was really troubled. I began to say, brethren, call my friends, my prayer partners in Nigeria. Guys, what are you people doing? Pray for me. <laughs> <laughs> I need prayer now. I need, it all happened and uh, lo and behold, one day, I called her, she picked, and after she off her phone and didn't pick again. <laughs> I got angry. <laughs> I got angry. I that's it. I was constructing a male. It's like a male of diapers. <laughs> and before I sent it, before before I sent it, I, I called my friend in Canada. I said, see, you're a man of God, we've done things together. I feel this girl don't know me. I have not said anything to her, only told her, what is your insight? He said, man, you're a bushman. <laughs> <laughs> I said, whatever, well, I can't hide my identity. I am who I am. And lo and behold, you know, I'm saying this because today also marks the second anniversary that we got married. <laughs> In August, for the first time in life, we met in August 2010. First time. Okay, September. Maybe <laughs> 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 it's no date better. First time in life, and uh, I introduced her to everybody I knew in Norway. She spoke to everybody that mattered to me in Nigeria. And I said to her, if I'm going to cheat you, I will not introduce you to my father in the Lord. Because if I cheat you, he will stop praying for me. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And I want to announce to all that since I met this wife, his first started with my result. My result was wumbling. You know what it means to walk and study in winter. Somebody like me, I sleep more than I wake up. <laughs> so I don't even have time to study. So it was difficult. But from my, the time I met her, I just told her, see my prayer request for the year. God has done so and so and so, and this is December. I want to, I want to carry, carry this one over the next year. That God will, I want to graduate with average of B. I know my words. I know what I should graduate with. God started with that. Miraculously, my result was clear. From that time I met her last year, it's been favor than law. I have Amen. seen more favor than I could count. Amen. I, I had a job I was I was working then as a researcher in the institution, but they gave us just six months contract. When it was about to expire, there was a problem in the Federation Economic Country. So nobody was sure of getting money again to sponsor anybody. I was praying, it was part of my prayer request. We wrote the notes, we went to a journal with 12 points, what God will do for us. And I said, I want to retain my job, I want to this, I want that. My contract expired, my supervisor was looking for me in the whole of it. And that is him, I want him to sign his contract to renew for another one year. That one happened. While in that job, and I got a, a, my dream job as a process engineer, which I'm doing now. Ooh, and within three months of getting that job, God blessed me with a house in Norway. Wow. You know, it's, it's amazing. God been so faithful. When we agree we want to have a child, I told her, see, I am Christian Ronaldo. When I play short, it's a goal. So if you have Of those who through faith obtain the promise. Ah, 
Hallelujah. One of my fathers in the Lord, he first said, when you have money in your pocket, don't propose to a girl. And he also said that he never prayed for a child. That the child must come naturally because God gave birth to him. And the Bible says, blessed is a man whose spirit is full of truth. <laughs> if he's blessed of God, it must happen naturally. So I thought that we don't need to fast and pray on this issue. <laughs> and I'm telling you the truth, as many that be, you know, everything don't answer to prayer. Yes. But everything answers to the word of God. Hallelujah. Bible says, he spoke, it came to pass. Amen. So whatever the servant of God will speak concerning your issue, I don't know what you're looking for next year. A child, a job, or whatsoever. The Bible says that he that believes the prophet Amen. shall receive he shall be established, and if you believe in God, you will prosper. Yes. And through the prophet, the Bible said, God delivered the people of Israel Amen. and gave them their possessions. Amen. So it shall be unto us. As many of you, my brother here, yeah, the drink we are going to have today, I didn't need to buy drink. This man here went and bought drinks. When I was working on this man, I said, He is in trouble. You are in a blessing trouble. <laughs> Embarrass you yourself. Amen. Praise God. Yeah.